Yeah, that was when I helped Marilyn find her house. And so that was like a phone mic drop moment, because there's only one Marilyn, only one Marilyn Monroe. Uh, what was your relationship with her and as far as finding her house? How did, how did that all work out? Well, actually, my husband was driving her and Natasha Lytez looking for house in yeah. Beverly Hills at the time. Natasha was a coach at 20th. Mm -hmm. And um, they kind of had Marilyn living with Natasha so she could work with her. Mm -hmm. And I was working with Natasha. Okay. And we lived down the street on Harper Avenue. I lived on this side, and Marilyn and Natasha lived right down here. Right. So we saw each other quite a bit. We studied together mm -hmm. because Natasha had a little girl, and the only time she could have a free day mm -hmm. would be on a Sunday. So we told her, well, we'll take care of the little girl. And, Was uh, Natasha a good teacher, a good acting teacher? Oh, what? my gosh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she okay. taught Marilyn. Yeah, I remember my, my late friend Stanley Rubin who produced River of No Return with Marilyn oh, and Bob Mitchum. Well, the director for that was Otto Preminger who made Curtiz look low key. Yeah. And uh, he, it, Natasha was on the set. So when they would do a take, Marilyn would not look at the director, Otto. He would look at Natasha and, and Otto, Otto banished her from the set. Marilyn went and made a phone call Daryl Zanuck the next day called Otto. Natasha was back on the set. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember I, I was working with Natasha when um, Marilyn got her first really great, great job was Asphalt Jungle. Right. And she years. ran up the stairs and she ran in and she said, I got the part, I got the part. And we were all so happy for her. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was wonderful. Now, she, how long how long did you stay close to her or work with her on a? On a not that visit? long, yeah. really, because um, she was under contract to Fox. Right. I was working at Fox a lot, so I got to see her, mm -hmm. and we'd sit on the steps, you know, and talk and see what right. each one was doing. And I had gotten sure. married and had had my baby. Also, <laughs> that, that, that rather that's large baby. Story. <laughs> that's another story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Elvis got out of the service and was going to do a GI Blues. Right. Right. And they needed a baby in GI Blues. And one day I was on the, the set, and, and Paul Nathan, who was Hal Wallace's uh, executive producer, came up to me and I had been at a party, Dolores, at Dolores, and, and she had said, come on, we're having a party. I said, I can, I have the baby here. And he, she said, bring them, right? Mm -hmm. So I did, and everyone, Earl Holloman, and every, all the kids from Valerie Allen, all the kids from Paramount were there. And so Paul wanted to hold this little, beautiful little boy, baby. And so he, I get a call from him, and he says, Jan, how old is your baby? And I said, I think he was 15 months then. And he says, "There's um, Elvis is going to do another picture, and we need a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I could draw broad babies by the yeah. minute. But, uh, and I said, uh, does he have to cry? And they said, oh, yeah, he's always crying. Elvis is holding him up and he's crying. Mm -hmm. I said, no. No, I worked with too many children. No. I said, me, you can have for nothing, but not my boy. Because he was just getting to the point where he trusted everybody. Right. And I didn't want them to the fool around with him. Yeah, and he didn't and he hasn't to talked to me since. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was, I was going to say, and, and he didn't have a SAG card either. No, he's often said to me, it yeah. would have been all right. Why didn't you let me cry? Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, you, you really have an acting family because um, your son is a prop master, has been so yeah. for many years, and your husband, Ray Boyle, uh, was is an actor was on the life and legends of Wyatt Earp and did a lot of pictures and how, how long have you and Ray been married? Okay, 
Uh-oh. Stump the stars, oh, folks. I want all of you never to tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell me. We've been married 65 years. All right. <laughs> but that's with paper. But we've been 68 years together. All right. So we've got two more years and then she's together. Oh, right. Well. And he's a hell of an actor. I believe it.